Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. Uh, this will be the first time being able to make a new footage in my brand new laptop that I got for my birthday on the 26th of July. So if you guys bear with me, I'm going to introduce three new characters to you guys. And I hope I do this correctly, because not to seem out of place or anything, but this is like take three of doing this correctly. So I hope you guys would be able to forgive me for all of this and such. Okay, here it is, the first character. Galactica. Real name, Professor Doris Redding. Height? Six feet eight inches to seven thousand feet. Weight two hundred and forty three pounds unrevealed. Status hero, defender of the default earth. Base altered dimension mobile. Intelligence four and a half brains. Behavior intellectual, protective, and loving. She'll do anything to destroy the villainous Strato girl and all her devastating creations. Lethality only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Being rival and cliffhangers. Powers. She has similar powers as Gigantica, along with pure innocence. She also wields an arsenal of futuristic weapons. Eyes, bright green. Hair, deep red and waist length. Origin. In the altered dimension, Doris Redding was once a weapons designer who was soon diagnosed with heart cancer. Using her machines to cure herself of the cancer, Doris found that she developed the power of mass alteration, among other capabilities. After getting used to her new powers, she realized that her former longtime friend, Stephanie Hancock, grew discouraged of Doris' success and became the towering supervillain Strato Girl. After Doris saved the U.S. from her friend-turned-enemy, she earned the name Galactica and would now do anything to stop Strato Girl from her various attempts of irreversible global destruction. Costume She simply wears a magenta latex jumpsuit. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Original inspiration, DC's Giganta. And the next character that I'm going to introduce should be adequate as such, in such, you know how it is. Hammer. Real name, Amy Jane. Height, 7 feet 7 inches, weight 344 pounds. Status, hero, and ally of quantum. Base, Alpha Earth, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful and protective. She always enjoys helping the innocents. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, being rivaled in thoughts of failure. Powers, she possesses immense strength, longevity, and high pain tolerance. She also wields a cosmic hammer, a sledgehammer with Lovecraftian levels of power that's also permanently fused to her left hand. Eyes, sky blue. Hair, deep blonde and flowing. Origin. Amy Jane was an activist who went to help the villages of Africa with poverty issues. One day, a powerful sledgehammer known since as the Cosmic Hammer fell from space and landed in the middle of the Serengeti. And when Amy tried to touch the weapon, it was to this day atomically fused to her left hand, though she was still able to carry it without any complaint. Later, Amy and the Hyperion Quantum had successfully saved the cosmos from an attack by Scalp, an alternate version of the anti-hero Strand, who can overwhelm the depths of space with her almost unbreakable hair. After her first heroic victory, Amy was nicknamed Hammer, and would do all that she can to help Quantum and other heroes with different missions in the future. Costume? She simply wears a uniform that resembles military clothes. Teams, solitary, with quantum and other heroes. Original inspiration, 
Marvel's Thor. This will be the last character that I'll introduce for this video, so I hope you guys could bear with me. I'll try to make this work as fluently as possible. Illuminati. Real name, inapplicable. Height, varied. Weight, weightless. Status, anti-hero and cosmic all-seer. Base, mobile. Intelligence, five brains and a plus. Behavior, willful and wise. He always enjoys exploring the cosmos. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, antimatter and cosmic forces. Powers, he possesses vast cosmic powers, mass alteration, optical abilities, and can speak in every language known in the cosmos. Eyes, vivid green in total of one. Hair, none. Origin. The Illuminati is a mysterious cosmic entity that resembles a humanoid eye in a green triangle, which is known to be a powerful all-seer who loves to explore every last thing that he encounters. One day, the Illuminati used his cosmic awareness and found that the villainous evil star was attempting to wipe out the Alpha Earth with a sinister death beam that's capable of decimating all life. After struggling in the cosmic battle between the two of them, the Illuminati was finally able to defeat the evil star by overwhelming his mind until he went dormant for a time. Afterwards, the Illuminati would spend part of his time having a romance with the entity known as Big Eyes. Costume? None. Team? Solitary or with others. Original inspiration? Himself. Well, I hope that all of that stuff is satisfactory for you guys, and I hope I just do this one correctly and such. If you guys, um, like, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And until next time, I, I'm Leviathan. I hope you guys have a fine August and such, and until next time, in transmission.